the demand for qualified registered nurses in Australia is rising. Australia has projected to experience a shortage of 125,000 nurses by 2025. Various Australian state governments are implementing unique incentives to promote nursing education to fill this huge gap. However, international nurses have to go through a few hurdles. The Nursing and Midwifery Board of Australia implemented an outcome-based assessment for internationally qualified nurses and midwives in 2020. The Objective Structured Clinical Examination or OSCE is the practical component of the outcome-based assessment. OSCE is costing an international nurse $4,000 and this exam is only offered in Adelaide making it challenging for an international registered nurse. After the implementation of OBA exam process in 2020, industry experts noticed a sharp decline in the number of international nurses who favour Australia. Compared to UK structure, this particular exam fee is really high and also there is no fee discount for someone who is attempting for the second time. Working with overseas registered nurses and supporting them for over the years, Melbourne-based Institute of Health and Nursing Australia has seen the multiple aspects of the challenges with OBA, which is affecting the decision of many overseas trained nurses to change their overseas work destination to other countries. To find a solution to this issue, IHNA has put forward a global petition to request the Federal Government of Australia to evaluate this issue and re-establish the nursing bridging program in Australia, or to implement more OSCE testing centres recommendation to reduce OSCE exam fees to assist international nursing recruitment. Propose an OSCE maximum fee of $1,500 for the first sitting and $800 for the second in line with the United Kingdom. Anyone who would like to support this initiative can start a petition through change.org. To give us an insight of this petition, Jones is joining with us from IHNA. The Nursing Midwifery Board of Australia implemented an outcome-based assessment for internationally registered nurses in the year of 2020. So the practical component of this exam is known as Objective Structured Clinical Examination, OSCE, which is currently costing around 4,000 Australian dollars for an overseas registered nurse to appear for this exam. And another challenge is this exam center is only located in Adelaide and nurses find it difficult to be in Adelaide to give OSCE examination after the theory examination that is NCLEX RN. And when we compare this exam process with UK, UK charge only 790 pounds for the first sitting. They have also they also have an alternative option in case if a registered nurse fail for the first attempt, they charge 390 pounds in the second attempt, which is pretty much uh, cheap or affordable for internationally registered nurses when they think about migrating to an overseas country to be or to work as a registered nurse. As someone who is working with these overseas registered nurses for a long time, we have seen that uh, this cost for OSCE examination and the challenge which they face that is only one exam set in Australia is affecting the decision for many overseas registered nurses to select Australia as their uh, destination of choice. So we recommend Australian federal government to evaluate this issue and re-establish uh, or to reduce the OSCE examination fees by at least 1,500 Australian dollars or for the first sitting and 800 Australian dollars for the second sitting. Uh, and we also recommend Australian government to consider increasing the number of uh, OSCE exam centres across Australia so that more number of registered nurses from overseas can come to Australia and give their examination. We are facing acute or critical shortage of nursing across country and various state governments are doing their best to support nurses to be in the field. So uh, we believe that this initiative will definitely change or will make at least a small difference in the nursing shortage which the country is facing right now.